The National Electrical Code plays a crucial role in ensuring our electrical systems are not only safe, but also efficiently designed. A fundamental aspect of this efficiency lies in understanding and applying concepts like total connected load, demand load, and demand factors. Let's start with the total connected load. Imagine an apartment complex where each unit has a variety of electrical appliances, air conditioners, electric clothes dryers, cooktops, and more. If every appliance in every unit were to run at full power simultaneously, the combined electrical demand would be our total connected load. This number represents the absolute maximum power requirement of the building, but it's not a practical figure for everyday use. Why? because it is highly unlikely all these devices will be in full operation at the same time. This is where the concept of the demand load comes in. The demand load is a more realistic estimate of the electrical power the building will use. It considers typical usage patterns. Not all residents will do laundry or cook at the same time. So, while the total connected load is like the electrical system's theoretical maximum, the demand load is its practical average. Now, to bridge the gap between these two, we use what are known as demand factors. These are typically percentages, set out in the NEC, used to adjust the connected load of specific equipment types, such as clothes dryers or electric cooking appliances, to a more realistic figure. These demand factors are crucial in practical electrical planning. Without them, every building would have oversized and underutilized electrical systems, leading to unnecessary costs and inefficiencies. By applying these factors, we ensure that our electrical infrastructure is adequately sized, robust enough to handle the building's needs, yet not so large that resources are wasted.